some context as to why I'm redesigning Wings Club characters. Um, I didn't really know what else to draw and I felt like doing something nostalgic and as a kid I really really liked um, the Wings Club series. So, you know, decided to, why not just give it a go, give it a go. It'll be challenging enough for me to see, like, the old designs and not just do um, a more realistic version of the, uh, or, like, the same design but in a more uh, realistic art style. So, I was going to do three, three uh, of the girls in one video and then three... In another uh, I didn't have time for that so it's just going to be bloom for this one uh, I'm working on Stella I have ideas for Musa and uh, that I have not started on the others yet so yes uh, for bloom I don't I really like also problem with going with the Wings Club series when I watched it, there was only about like four seasons and then the, a fifth happened and then a sixth happened, which I did watch later. Uh, I believe a seventh one is out. I started watching it and then didn't. Uh, I think there's eight seasons now. Each season comes with their own set of designs, so I have to pick which set which design to go by i'm mostly going to be working off of the season one and maybe season two designs because those are the ones i like the most so i really like bloom's season one design uh because i like f uh, bell bottom jeans and the flare and stuff like that i, I like that type of outfit so i'm like trousers <laughs> i can i can give her trousers also i in the in her original design she has some some platform sandals which if you pay attention uh, and that's like in her uh, normal attire wings club is a series like high school girl goes to fairy school is a fairy can transform into does sailor moon transformation and gets wings type thing um, so there's a day outfit where they they look pretty much human and then there's like magic key princess um, wings and stuff like that uh, so both of those the thing is in the in in Bloom's civilian outfit she usually wears some platform uh, sandals now uh, the school is in the middle of a forest and I just think she should at least, like, think about, um, one, sandals are not very easy to, like, for them to just stay on your foot, as is, so, also, platform uh, shoes in general are less stable because that your ankle is higher above the ground, so you're much easier, it's much more likely for you to turn your foot, and in a forest area, I'm just like, no, no. Again, uh, and I don't think I've said this before, so I don't know what I'm saying again. But um, I'm using my original, the uh, first image to try and get the proportions right and make sure she still looks like herself, even though it's a different drawing. Bloom has, uh, it, even in her, like more simplistic in her original art style she kind of has some uh musculature as well as like she rides a bike everywhere one two um in the first episode she like stella's doing all this magic -y stuff with like the power of the sun or whatever and then bloom just comes along and whacks this like goblin-y thing in the face with a stick and it just shatters into light so she must have some sort of like musculature. She she has to have at least some definition to her arms. It's it, it that's not up for debate. The show came out during the 2000s. It started in 2004, and I believe it originally went until 2009, and then got picked up by Nickelodeon again or something along those lines. But um, it has a lot of um, it takes a lot of inspirations from celebrities and their uh, fashion choices and the trends from those times uh, um, platform sandals so and uh, 
I be- Bloom's uh, like fashion inspiration or celebrity inspiration was Britney Spears. So I used uh, her like 2000s esque looks uh, for her uh, for Bloom's civilian outfit. And also, I changed her hair to kind of look uh, a bit more like how I imagine it to be. Like if she a bit more ja- uh, um, a bit more messy, uh, because she that the that slight messiness comes along from the more simplistic design from like the cowlick, which she still has. It's just underneath a hat. Why did I give her a hat? I think it would suit her, so I gave her a hat from here's the thing there's a lot of bloom's personality that comes across in the first episode from her room and that is never mentioned again so like she's she's really into like fantasy like creatures and uh, worlds and has an imaginative mind and stuff like that she likes to draw she's pretty good at drawing uh and she she's actually the reason it's called winx because she the, they were called wings and then the wing like the x is supposed to be like a butterfly wing so it, it became winks whatever um it's been a while i didn't watch the entire se- series i just watched the first episode to be like okay this is the vibe this is what i need to remember i also just really wanted to be like what the, what what was bloom actually like um but what I've I've also given her a li- like a little backpack, uh, since her room again is that type of me- a bit a bit messy. Uh, fair enough, teenager. So I gave her that to the the two thousand to two thousand tens had a lot of uh, crop tops, and uh, so I and Wings Club has a lot a lot of the designs I think every flora doesn't wear does flora wear a crop i don't think flora wears a crop top in season one maybe she does i don't know i i i I might be mixing up her um fairy and civilian i haven't drawn flora yet so i know techno doesn't no techno does i think all of them wear crop tops um all of them wear crop tops in their original design so at least some of them I have to incorporate it with. It, it's kind of... Bloom's kind of my test run with this to see how to get my creative mind actually working. And I like the yellow and blue combo. Here's the thing. The yellow and blue combo disappears and gets traded for a pink and blue combo in, I believe, as soon as season two and season two onwards, which I really, I'm, I'm kind of sad about because yellow and blue is a, a, is a nice combo to have. Um, also, she, in season one, the cuffs of her jeans have stars on them, uh, but season one onwards, her, like, symbol or shape of like that that's used as a design element to becomes goes from being the star to hearts so i wanted so i was like i like the stars though because it's it's like it's, it's symbolic of her um like dreams and fantasies and uh creative mind and just stuff like that but i also wanted to give a nod to you know the fact that season one onwards her main shape is a heart so i was like okay we'll add we'll add the heart to the design to the jean cuff instead of having like a ring it's more like uh maybe the you know those i iron on stamps like maybe it's one of those something like that that she's used her um her fairy outfit looks very similar to well fairly similar to her original one i wanted to add again i wanted to keep the stars and i wanted to add like these little wing designs on like the inside and like on where the ankles are kind of at or like slight or the heels um because a bit of a uh, an element i thought would be nice of uh her being the one who um added the 
you know, wings, wings, that type of thing. Also, her, like, just in season one, she's struggling a fair amount to actually get her wings. Uh, so that, I thought that would be quite interesting and intriguing. Um, I've kind of given her a more asymmetrical, uh, skirt with the ends, uh, emulating flame and her, in, she usually, in her original design, she has, like, the, um, not gloves, but, um, k- they ba- they're basically there so that your eye is drawn to her hands because that's where uh, her action sequences go her you because in an action scene you want your hands uh, you want your eyes to be going towards her hands and that's kind of why uh, uh the chest the crop top uh points up because that will draw the eye up and to the face which is also why a turtleneck makes sense. Also, season one and season two, she wears turtlenecks, like, all the time. Um, like, civ- civilian as well as fairy. And I'm like, where the, where, where did the turtlenecks go? I like the turtlenecks. Bring the turtlenecks back. She clearly likes them. Um, but, yeah. She has a crown in in the original like fairy design, which is a foreshadowing, which is there because foreshadowing for future like story stuff where she's uh, spoilers, but you don't care. So basically, it turns out that she's like a princess, and like the cr- that that is like a part of element of the her design that's foreshadowing that element. Um, so I wanted to include like a crown somewhere, but instead of it being on her head, because I put it like as an earring that it's like a, uh, an earring that's in the shape of a crown because it's a lot smaller and it can also be interpreted as more of like her image of herself, which also like gives her a bit more of a flaw of like seeing herself as a more important than she actually is which I think would be a nice addition to her character since she does have a tendency to be um a bit bland when you actually think about it at some sometimes also I've her hair kind of becomes a bit longer and a bit more uh fire like when in her fairy form like her cowlick actually stands on end like it's a flame um so uh, and why did i do that because she is the fairy of the dragon flame or something um (laughs) i do know it it's just yeah but uh but partially what i wanted to check with the first episode was how soon that they actually showed that like oh her f- magic is fire based and or dragon based and it's literally episode one so i'm like oh, okay i don't have to actually hide anything in the design so instead of uh, so i gave her like a dragon like ear earring um because I think that would be cool. And also we know for a fact that she likes fantasy creatures. So like she would wear um, stuff like that. I was going to give her pins on the bag. I just forgot. Because I was I wanted to give her like yin and yang pins. But, uh, uh, as well as some um, like fantasy creature like pins. As well as um, I had a few other ideas but... I didn't actually end up getting there because I forgot. That's exactly what happened. I forgot to add the pins. And also I was running low on time. So I decided, you know what, we'll we'll go with what we have. Um, when it comes to her civilian outfit, and all, actually, when it comes to her face, I've kind of made her face a little bit more longer and a bit more pointy. As well as I've I've given her like that slight like one tooth being pointy thing because I f- I wanted her to actually look more dragon like she doesn't I don't want her to look like a dragon that's just a human I just wanted her to have a bit more harsher features so that like it speak it says more dragon a tad bit that's kind of what i had in mind when i drew her like facial features and 
uh, I wanted to keep some sort of turtleneck. Uh, I like the yellow, so I went with that. And instead of the sweater that goes on, I gave her like a denim jacket that's, um, I think, I believe, I, I, I said denim in my head when I drew it, so we're going with that, which like has one button done up because it's summer, I think. I got kind of confused because at the beginning of the episode it was summer and then Stella showed up and it's like it's going to be the first day at Althea and that's high school. But I'm like, Bloom, didn't you just... Isn't this the first day of summer? I also gave her highlights. She would have highlights. I gave her highlights. It's fine. Um, it also adds to the fire element of her like design, even in the civilian form so i like that uh it makes her hair look like it's fiery um also she's been again artsy highlights of course she does <laughs> kind of a stereotype but I, it's, I also like the stereotype and um she um all of them actually when they transform have really serious and angry looking faces so i did that <laughs> um and uh, I, I basically made her look like no nonsense. And um, I didn't really add a sparkle effect to her outfit, but I did try to make it look more shiny than her civilian outfit, as well as, yeah. Anyway, that's about it. I will be drawing Stella next because she is the one closest to being done. Um, have a wonderful day, see you later, and goodbye. I almost said goodnight because it's late.